much of the southern plains, places in Texas as well as Oklahoma still in the triple digits. A little bit cooler off towards the southeast, and that's because of that moisture that tropical Laura brought. So they're still dealing with some of the rain showers and, again, helping to keep them a bit cooler off in eastern parts of Texas as well as out towards uh, Mississippi and Louisiana. That's where they're still lingering, dealing with that lingering moisture and those rain showers left over from Hurricane Laura. Heat advisor for us here in the Concho Valley. This remains effect until at least 7 p.m. on Saturday. We could see it extended until Sunday as well. And again, this includes every county in the Concho Valley. Again, with that, that high pressure just keeping us very dry and hot, that's allowing us to heat up into the triple digits again. 50 was our most triple digits days that we've had this year. Now we're up to 51, so about three times our normal average for triple digit days as far as the temperatures are concerned. And we've broke into the top 10 for the most triple digit days. Still a couple more could easily put us into the top five for the most triple digit days. We're staying well away from back in 2011 when they got 100. So again, not breaking the all-time record, but could get into the top five by the time the week's all done. Looking across the Concho Valley at the temperatures right now, everybody's dealing with the triple digits. 101 in Eden, 106 here in San Angelo, 100 on the money right in Big Lake. So again, the heat continues and it will continue into the weekend as well. So for some heat safety tips, make sure you're taking plenty of breaks from the shade as well as wearing some light clothing, light colored clothing, as well as drinking plenty of water if you're going to be outdoors for any extended period of time. And being outdoors, football forecast, you may be dealing with some of those triple digits by kickoff. We'll be right around the 100 degree mark, but quickly cooling off after sunset. By the time the game wraps up, you'll be in the upper 80s to lower 90s, still hanging on to those southerly winds at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Cooling off will continue as we continue the overnight, still staying mostly clear. Getting into the upper 70s, 77, your overnight low, and those winds will drop off only to about 5 to 10 miles per hour going into your overnight. Tomorrow will look much like what we saw today. Maybe some afternoon clouds popping up here and there could offer a chance for some shade. But again, 105, mostly sunny. And again, winds could get up to 15 miles per hour, a little bit gusty going into the afternoon hours. We'll be watching this upper level ridge that's off towards our west over the four corners. As this starts to weaken, you'll see this flatten out. What that does is it allows some cooler air to begin moving in from the north. So we'll be watching those shades of orange kind of moving into our area. And that means cooler temperatures. And that's what we're really excited about, getting away from the pink and the bright reds, getting into some little bit of cooler colors. Time Time this all out Monday will still re stay relatively clear. By Tuesday, that's when we'll watch this front kind of move in towards the area. It'll move pretty quickly through. So a lot of people could get some rain showers, but it won't be very extended rain showers. So a quick dusting of rain real quick, uh, and it'll be some beneficial rain, much needed for the region. And then by Wednesday, we'll start to see that begin to push out of the area and drying out for Thursday. Still seeing that heat advisory remaining in effect again until at least Saturday and even until Sunday, looking at your seven day forecast, triple digits 105 on Saturday, 104 on Sunday. And then as we look at Tuesday, that's when we'll see those rain chances and some cooler temperatures dropping us into the mid 90s by Wednesday.